Hey, if you want to learn how I created these Instagram highlights, stay tuned to this video. Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because my channel is about building our businesses, having multiple side hustles, and also self-care. So if those topics interest you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And in today's video, as y'all can see, I got my laptop out. So I want to do a new series with Canva.com where I'm going to be showing y'all how I design the different aspects for my business. So I'm going to break this video up in four different parts. The first one is going to be how I do my YouTube thumbnails. The second one is going to be how I make my Instagram flyers, which could be Instagram, Facebook or whatever flyers. Then the third one is going to be how I create the cute little branding templates for my Instagram. The fourth one is going to be how I create the Instagram highlights. So go ahead and stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and get part four started. The first thing I like to start with is going to Google and typing in Canva. And then we're going to go ahead and click the second link. And one thing I like to do for the Instagram highlight templates is once I search them, I do like to take a look at all the templates that they have to offer. So we're just going to select Instagram highlight covers. And these are the options that they have. And the only reason that I use the template for these ones instead of just a blank canvas like the other ones is because I want to keep the exact sizing and I want the and I want to keep the circle the exact same size from when I upload my own. And you'll just grab the template just for inspiration. And I typically like to click something simple. So we have this one pulled up and these are the ones that they currently have and we're going to go ahead and start erasing them. And then we're going to start editing them. And then we're going to edit them to match our own brand. As you know, I like to keep all of my stuff the same. Same colors, green, black, and white with my money theme background. So the first thing we'll do is erase the background. Now I'm going to switch it to my green color. Now let's go ahead and search for our money that we always use which of course it shows up in the recently used. We're gonna stretch this to cover the entire template. And once you stretch it, it's gonna automatically bounce to the background. And we do want that green to show, so we're actually gonna change the transparency. Okay, and now we're gonna erase new arrivals from that bubble. And then we're going to change the color of the bubble to make it match our brand. And one thing I want to do for these ones is I want to, I want to make them pop. So I'm going to try and get a gold background for it. So I'm going to search gold circle and see all the different options that they have and choose one that'll go along with our linings. Keep it simple enough. See, that just gives it a little pop, and then we're going to just hide the white on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some more design to it. So I'm going to add a black circle to it. So I'm going to go ahead and search a circle, find a thin black circle to add to it. And this just gives it more detail, Give your gives your designs an extra pop. And the next thing that I'm going to search in the elements is I'm going to search for the YouTube logo. And we're going to see which one looks best for the templates that we're creating today. Well, for the highlights that we're creating today. And we want to make sure that we can change the color on them. So we want all of our colors to match. We want to go with that green, something green, green and black since we already have that white background. First, we're going to add a, just a black outline to it, just to make it pop a little bit more. See how much of a difference that makes. Okay. 
And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add another page. And one thing about adding the page to this, so you're actually, we're going to duplicate the page. So with duplicating the page, it gives us the exact same template. And then we're just going to remove the YouTube and then add our next thing, which is the reviews. And the reviews is fairly simple. You'll just add the reviews to it. And as you can see, that color already looks good with it being black. But we do want to add some type of a pop of green to it. So I'm probably going to add the stars under it. Oh, I actually like this green better. Maybe add the black stars. Let's play around with it a little bit. Oh, I like the way that looks. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate this page again so we can keep our same template. Erase the reviews. And for this next one that I'm going to do, I am going to end up typing in. Hmm, let me see, which one should we do for this one? So we're going to do an airplane because it's for the traveling hair boss. But one of the tricky things about choosing an airplane is you want to be able to choose an airplane that allows you to adjust the colors. Let's play around with this one. And as you know, we got to make it. So for this one, I might add a little gray to it, but we're going to make it green and black. You'll just select the little color swatches at the top and keep choosing your brand colors until you make the perfect airplane. Simple enough, right? And I do like the way that looks. Now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this page. Erase the airplane. And then for this next template that we're going to end up doing is we're going to type in a woman. Because I want to try, I want to show you how you can switch the colors of the women. So for this one, since the color things didn't show up, the colors will typically show up where it says edit image or animate now. So you'll keep choosing women until it allows you to change the color of their skin. And I like to change mine into a black woman because that's what I am. So let's keep searching. Nope, not yet. Okay, there we go. And I don't quite like that one. So let's click the magic recommendations. And these are ones similar to the ones that you're clicking. And as you can see on this one, you can change everything. You can change the hair color, the skin color, the shirt color. So we're just going to play around with it until we get our perfect woman. And I'm going to show you a trick that I typically do for the skin color. I'm changing it to my... Perfect red. So when you go, when you choose a color, you can go to document colors and choose the plus, and then it allows you to draw. When I draw, well, it allows you to play around with the different colors until you get the color of your likings. And as you can see, trying to select a brown is very hard. So another thing that I like to do when it comes to choosing a skin color, sometimes you can upload a photo of yourself and it'll match that, match the colors in the photo to get it to match the skin. But that doesn't work all the time. So we're going to see if this works. Now we're going to drop that down a little bit because I'm trying to get it that exact skin color or at least close enough. Drag that to the side so we can see that they're matching. And now when we choose the colors, it should say colors in the document. And of course, that brown does not match how we want it to match. And actually, the brown that she had before was actually pretty good. So we're going to go. So we're going to end up going with that one. Yep, that one. So now we're going to switch the neck color to that. And then let's see what she looks like with different shirt colors. I kind of like the white, but we'll see. Mm, 
and a little stick it to the white. And readjust it. And there we have it. And now we're ready to go ahead and duplicate this page. And for this last highlight, I'm going to do a behind the scenes one. So I'm going to try and find a, I want to say it's a director's cut. So I'm going to see what I need to search. I'm going to type in a bunch of different search terms to see what I need to find to get that. Let's try video. Mm. That's what we're looking for. Well, I do like it with that green detail right there. Let's see what else they have. Let's try this one. Make that bright white. Switch one of those blacks to green. Okay. I like this one. So now we have all of our five highlights that we're going to use for our Instagram page. And then we're going to go ahead and download these and get them uploaded to our Instagram. Thank you so much for watching these videos. And if you watched the whole series, let me know which one you like the best. Or if you're on the first one, second one, third one, or fourth one, let me know if I can make any improvements, any other ones you want to see to the this series, any other type of videos with Canva you want to see to these series. I dropped my Canva link below for if you want to sign up for Canva. So yeah, make sure you follow me on all my social media channels. So I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Clubhouse. I'm Destiny Adams across all platforms. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video. Mm -hmm.